how you pack your glider can make a big difference on the condition over time. If you pack it wrong, you can damage the glider, which can permanently reduce the safety and the performance. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to pack it properly. And at the end, I'll show you the essential move that most pilots miss out. When you pack a glider and you line up all the leading edge rods and you put it into two sausages like that, even that technique can bend up the rods in the front of the glider, which puts stress on them. And then if you fold this pack down and compress it, you can kink these rods. Let me show you what I mean. Can you see here on the, on the top surface? Here's the rod. Because this is where the magic happens on a paraglider. On the front section is where that lift is generated and that aerofoil is really sucking up. So you want that to be a beautiful curve, which is why the rod is there, to spring the glider out into that shape. So it's gonna to revert to this shape. Now, I don't know about you, but that's not really a leading edge that I want to fly with. What you're doing with bad packing is you're taking an aerofoil and you're basically doing this. And now you're hoping it's going to fly nicely. You might as well take your EN test and do the same thing. And you can end up with a glider with a leading edge that's just a mess. So let's do it properly. The concertina bag. This one from Cross Country Mag is really, really good. It's very light and it's all you need. Get a concertina bag. It's the only way to make sure that you can do this layering very cleanly and efficiently. I usually start at the middle of the glider. Also, the concertina bag is very useful if you want to come home and your glider is slightly damp, you can just open the whole bag and just leave it there. They're always breathable, so that helps. The critical bit is to make sure that these rods aren't coming up on the inside here. Push down and flat inside that pack. What most pilots do. One, two, three, four. If you're gonna roll your glider up like this and then put your harness on top of it, have a think about those rods. You've got a nasty kink. If you've got any C rods, you're kinking them up in a pinch point. And the leading edge, oh, well, that's still pretty tight. Especially when you've got it in a hike and fly bag or your bag's lying at the bottom of the pile. Not so good. Let me show you the right way to do this. Put your harness onto your glider let the fold come over and tuck in just this little piece of trailing edge and you can pull it tight. And then you can pull this piece over. So I've only folded it basically in thirds. Have a look at that leading edge. Can you see the curve I'm putting on the leading edge? It's nice and wide. Into your backpack. You can safely squash it down because you know the rods are not gonna get bent. You pull your backpack up. And now you can put your helmet and things in the top and you've got a very nice flat pack that's pushing up against your backpack and giving you a nice form to your backpack. Right, so now you know how to pack your glider like a pro. To learn more skills like this, join me on my website where I've got an entire range of videos that will help you with your piloting progression. I look forward to answering your questions in the Academy chat room.